Impact, how are you? I miss you guys, I hope you're okay and I hope you had a really good new year and a really safe new year. Heard a couple of people that haven't been very well, so I hope and pray that you are feeling better now. It's been a shame that I haven't been able to see you, but we miss you and we hope that you are okay. Now I hope you had a really lovely Christmas and a really lovely break, time to relax and just do some of the things that you enjoy doing that you might not get time to do during um, term time. That's what I did. I had some time off and I had a really nice chance to be able just to do the things that I wanted to do that helped me to relax and I enjoy during the holidays. And I also was able to get some really lovely Christmas presents and I hope you did too. I wonder what you got. Um, I got a nice new ring and some t theatre tickets and a hot brush if you know what that is girls it's you know for doing your hair and yeah boys don't worry about that um but yeah those are really nice things for me to get for christmas and i was really thankful for those things because they were the things that i asked for and that i really wanted but at new year but we don't always put mm -mm. But the things that we want and the thing, maybe the things that we get for Christmas should not be the most important thing in, your, in our lives. And we're going to have to think about that today. We're also going to think about a new year and, you know, new year's resolutions. I wonder if you've made any. Um, I've made one. I'm going to tell you about it a bit later on. Some people choose to give something up. Um, people might say, I'm giving up chocolate or I'm giving up biting my nails, or I'm giving up something else. Um, or they might say, I'm going to start doing something. I'm going to start going to the gym. I'm going to lose weight. I'm going to save some money. I'm going to do my homework on the night I get it. That used to be one of mine. I was never very good at it. Yeah. Um, do my piano practice every night. That was also one that I struggled with. But it's a discipline that you have to learn if you play an instrument you might know but yeah so we make new year's resolutions a goal something we want to work towards maybe towards the end of the year or something else and that's fine that's really good but what i also want you to think about this t this week is the things that we get the things that we own are they more important in our lives than jesus now there's a video below of um, the story that we're going to look at this week or you can listen to me read the story and it's the parable of the rich young ruler I'm actually going to read it from the diary of a disciple because it's a little bit more um, I don't know it's a bit more like a, a story and I thought it might be a bit you might enjoy it more than the bible or you can go and look it up in the bible and I will put the bible references down below as well so you can either watch this, pause the video and watch the video below or listen to me. So three, two, one. Okay, if you've chosen to listen to me, this is from, um, it's Diary of a Disciple. So it's from Luke's Gospel. And this is written for, I think it's written for eight to 12 year olds. But it's actually, I think it's written really well um, in, a, in like a story fashion. So I think it's quite a nice version to read. So I'm going to read to you what it says. And it's in Luke 18, verses 18 to 30. And it says, As the children ran towards Jesus, one of the men in the crowd spoke up. Jesus, you're so great. I really want to get to heaven. What do I have to do? Why do you say I am great? Only God is great, Jesus answered the man. You know God's rules, don't you? Follow those. I've always followed God's rules ever since I was a boy. Well, there is one other thing, said Jesus. You're a very rich man. You need to sell everything you have and give all your money away. Then you'll be rich in heaven. Then you can come and follow me. Oh, not so simple. The man's face fell. He didn't even want to think about giving up all, giving all his money away, let alone all of his super awesome stuff. 
It's so hard for a rich person to get into God's kingdom. In fact, it would be easier for a camel to squeeze through the eye of a needle, Jesus said. The crowd were murmuring. Well, that's it then. How can anyone ever be saved? Camels are big and fat. I couldn't even get one through a door, let alone the eye of a needle. Jesus turned to face them and said, There are so many things that God can do that people can't do, Peter said. But Jesus, we've already left everything just to follow you. Those who leave everything behind to follow me will be given good things by God, both now and when his kingdom is here. And it says here, sell everything. That's a pretty big ask, isn't it? The thing is, Jesus wasn't the man asking the man to sell everything he had because he thought he shouldn't have any money. What he was actually saying was there needs to be nothing more important in your life than loving God. That's why just following God's rules didn't cut it either. Following a set of rules doesn't mean that you love God, just that you're good at following rules. It's actually more about um, our love for God and where we put God in our lives. So if you watched the video, welcome back. Um, I hope that you um, took something from that video. And we can see that we, uh, in that story, Jesus was saying, it would be easier for a camel to go through the eye of a needle than it would for a rich person to enter the kingdom of God. And it's not that Jesus wants us to give up all of our stuff to be able to go to heaven and spend eternity with God. Not at all. Jesus wants you to put God first above everything else. To worship God with your whole heart. Okay? So there might be something holding you back from worshipping God and following God with your whole heart. It might be that you like being on the TV, watching the TV or playing on the Xbox and that's more important to you than following God and worshipping God. And I just want to make clear to you that actually you might, um, I don't want you to take from this video that you have to give up all of your things and that's how you get to heaven and and in God's kingdom. To be in God's kingdom forever here and for eternity is about saying that you are sorry for your sin, for all the bad things that you've done, and that you believe in Jesus' death on the cross to save you, and that Jesus died to save you for your sins, and that you want to follow Jesus with your whole heart. But sometimes, even when we've said that, it's really hard to follow Jesus with our whole heart, to know what it is um, that is the most important thing. Now, something I want to do this year that I think sometimes can stop me from um, doing the right thing is I get a bit grumpy sometimes. Get a, I can easily list off a things, list of things that I'm annoyed about, that I want to moan about. You might be the same. I don't know. But this year, I want to try and work on being more thankful okay it's on the internet now it's on youtube that means i've got to do it so the one thing that i want to do this year is i'm not going to give something up to follow god with my whole heart but i'm going to take something up i'm going to try and make sure that i say thank you to god every day for one thing every day at least one thing every day maybe you might want to try that too there might be something else you want to take up to worship God with your whole heart. You might want to make sure that you pray every day or read your Bible every day. Um, you might want to help at home, help your family, because that is also a way of worshipping God by helping others and serving. So maybe that's what one thing that you could do this year. I want you to have a think of something you could either give up. It could be I'm going to give up playing on my phone at night and I'm going to get a good night's rest so I can do my best the next day for God. Could be I'm going to start reading my Bible more. Or maybe the same as me, you're going to try and be more thankful. I'd love it if some of you can help me do that as well. So let's pray. We're going to pray and um, we're going to ask God to, make sure, to help us to put him first and worship him with our whole heart in 2022. 
Father God, thank you that you taught us the most important thing to follow you. You taught us that it's most important that we follow you with our whole heart and that we don't put stuff, we don't put our things and all the things we enjoy above you. God help us to have a thankful heart this year. Help us to put you first place in our lives. And God, I just pray, Lord, I pray that you will guide us um, to know what it is that you want us to do this year to worship you with our whole hearts. In Jesus' name, amen. Okay, so I was going to tell you what I'm thankful for. And I'm going to say today that I'm really thankful that I'm able to do this video and I'm thankful for the technology and the way that I can still communicate with you. And I'm thankful for you guys too, because I love you guys. I pray that you are okay and well. And I really miss you. I miss being able to see you on Sundays. So I hope we can speak soon somehow and I'll be in touch. Take care. Bye bye.